I want to welcome in somebody who I am so glad can join us for Friday Fabulous Florida. And as a bonus, uh, I want to spend just a minute talking about this great book that she has done. Uh, how about it for Teresa Strasser, everybody? Yeah. Look at you. How are you, Teresa Strasser? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Do we hear her or not, Albert? Okay, good. Of course, of course. We're excited to have you. And before I get to Florida, curated by Albert, um, I want to touch on your book. Um, the introduction to your book is really powerful, and it really speaks to, because it's sort of about, I guess the book's about baseball, but it's really about how... Um, you can speak more eloquently than I about this, but my what I'm getting is that it's about how that uh, bonded and also uh, brought together sort of on a cellular level your feelings and emotions around family, even a fractured family. That was very well put. Is fractured one of those words where you play the sound effect or no? Uh... Because it's you, I will ding it. I don't know. It's close. It will be, it'll be on the outskirts of dingable. Yeah. Um, it's right on the edge of dingable. Yes. Yeah. So Making It Home is about one single season of baseball that I watched with my dad after my brother died of cancer. He was 47. And we were watching my oldest son play. My brother had also played Little League. And my dad and I, you know those people who get way too into youth sports? We were not those people because we were a hundred times worse than any of those people. Like we were texting back and forth the lineup, who we thought should play second or third, lots of smack talking of fourth graders, uh, including my kid. <laughs> and the, our, our obsession with our team and our love for our team, just, I can't explain it. It was our grief group. We just unfolded our Costco beach chairs right there behind the first baseline and we were swept up in the drama of this season. And, and that's what I write about because baseball is unlike any other major sport. It doesn't have a clock. There's talk about the pitching clock, but there's no game clock. And because of that, a comeback is always possible in baseball. It's the most hopeful sport in the world. That's you and your dad? Yeah, that's me and my dad. And when you're grieving, you need hope. You need hope that Things are going to get at least different. And then different gets better. And, uh, yeah, we, um, I, I had this incredible experience where when you write a book, you have to reach out to try to get what are called blurbs from people, right? Like you can see in that graphic, the blurb that's on the cover of my book is from Cal Ripken Jr. So um, I used that's all my connections wow. to get How to Cal. Wow, you got that? Ugh. Yes, I used my connections, which is to say, Mark, I Googled how to reach Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> Impressive. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's the, jour the journalist in you coming up. Google it. Yeah. Coming yes. Up. I, mirac I Googled it and miraculously he responded <laughs> because, you know, he's obviously from a baseball family. His kids play, his dad played. And his quote about my book is my favorite. Uh, he said, it's a story about a team that becomes a family and a family that becomes a team. So oh, that, I that's a great quote. Wow. Baseball people love it, but it is a story about uh, family. You know, my my dad and I didn't have a great relationship. And, uh, and when the two of us were grieving, baseball brought us together. Well, I'm glad we got it a mention and it's available where books are sold. I'll tell you what, Albert, can we put a link in maybe to Teresa's book uh, on this video and on videos uh, that um, we appear on? So you'll get it on the live show and also on, um, on the segment that we break out. So uh, good stuff. Um, Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.